Hello, I'm Miss World Bahamas Ashley Hamilton, and my Beauty with a Purpose project was to bring help and hope to hundreds of my fellow citizens whose lives were thrown into turmoil by a deadly storm. Morning, as most of the Bahamas either under a hurricane watch or hurricane warning as the leviathan of a storm is meandering towards the Bahamas. Now it's expected to be a four day event as this monster storm category four now makes its track straight across the islands of the Bahamas. Matthew formed from a tropical wave that pushed off the African coast. In a matter of days, the system gained sufficient organization to be named Tropical Storm Matthew near the Windward Islands. Once Matthew reached the Eastern Caribbean, it became a hurricane and rapidly intensified, peaking in intensity as a Category 5 string storm with 160 mile per hour winds. It racked communities from the Caribbean to the Southeast United States, leaving a death toll of 1,384 lives. Matthew hammered the Bahamas October 5th to 6th as a Category 3 and 4 hurricane. By the time it had left our shores, the damage totaled $600 million. Many were left homeless and hopeless, having lost everything but their lives in the storm. I quickly realized that there was a great need and began the work of assessing the damage to the hardest hit areas acquiring and delivering food supplies to those most in need, and raising money for a rebuilding effort. The effort began with a series of visits to the areas that were hardest hit in New Providence and Andros, two of the three islands that received the most damage. Many were left destitute as Hurricane Matthew ripped away their homes and possessions, leaving some with only the clothes on their backs. Still others experienced substantial property damage, Though shell-shocked from the experience, survivors were grateful to be alive, but in significant need. As Miss World Bahamas, I serve as a brand ambassador for the Island Game Foundation, an organization dedicated to helping the less fortunate in the community. We sat in the Island Games Foundation office and said, what can we do to help the residents of Andros, who are heavily affected by Hurricane Matthew? I sprang into action by organizing a relief effort with the support of the Island Game Foundation. A plan was formulated to put together care packages, one containing cleaning supplies and one containing non-perishable food goods. Over $15,000 worth of goods were provided at cost by Island Wholesale and Grace Products, Bahamas Wholesale Agencies, Thompson Trading, Acupure Water and the Island Game Foundation. I then made a second trip to Central Andros along with the Island Game proprietor, Pete DeVoe, to distribute care packages to those most in need, distributing packages to over 400 households. For the people, um, I love the Bahamas and all Bahamians in it, and so just knowing that I brought a sense of hope to someone who's probably felt hopeless, a sense of belonging and that knowing that, yes, the worst has passed, but that I am here and grateful to be here, and I know that's the sort of the, the brainchild of Miss World, knowing that these beautiful young women have more behind them and strength in them to help others. It took two weeks of hard work organizing it all, but to see the joy on the faces of the Androsians, knowing that someone cares for them was well worth it. The second phase of the project was to raise funds for a rebuilding effort. I partnered with event producer Ryan Knowles to stage Concert for a Cause, a benefit concert featuring leading musical artists in the Bahamas and an art sale by prominent local artists. The event was a smashing success, raising $5,000 in the process. The Island Game Foundation once again contributed to the effort, this time matching the amount of money raised. 100% of the proceeds from the concert and art sale was donated to charities involved in relief efforts on the islands of Andros and Grand Bahama the two islands most affected by the storm, to directly aid the families and communities that were affected the most. I take great pride in knowing that as a result of my efforts, hundreds of Bahamians are emerging from their darkest hour with a brighter outlook on the future. While the road to recovery will be long and hard, my hope is that in the words of Zig Ziglar, they will move from survival to stability, stability to success, and from success to significance.